you're thinking about taking the AWS Certified Data Engineer Associate certification, but you're not sure how difficult it is. In this video, I'm going to go over how hard is it, which is a part of a series that I've been doing for a number of AWS certifications. By the time you've watched this video in its entirety, you're going to be able to realize where you're at, what's going to be necessary for you to complete this certification and the gap in between in terms of the level of effort you're going to need to apply of yourself to be able to get you across the finish line. You're going to learn where the AWS Data Engineer Associate falls in the overall AWS certification hierarchy. I'm going to walk you through a high level exam overview of important information you need to know. I'm going to discuss the exam guide, which is super important in terms of what's going to be on the exam and what you need to prepare for. And the most exciting part, I'm going to sprinkle in a free AWS exam prep that's going to help you prepare for this AWS certification as a part of your overall study plan. Trust me, you don't want to miss that. If you're new here, I'm Greg, creator of Thoughtful Techie Cloud, and each week I create videos that help you on your AWS cloud and tech journey. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe right now. If you're a returning viewer and you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? I'd like to kick off this video with what a data engineer is. Now I'm going to give you a practical example. As an AWS solutions architect, I have the honor to work with several data engineers in my career. And a data engineer in the simplest level is somebody that takes raw data, right? That you can't do much with and figures out how to build an end to end pipeline from ingest to insights and everything in between. I would say there are two very good reasons why you should consider the AWS Certified Data Engineer Associate Certification. The first is maybe you are a data engineer, so now you would like to learn data engineering in the context of AWS, and you would like to have a certification to let your current employer and future employers know you're certified to that depth of knowledge. The second scenario is something like me. You're somebody who works with data engineers, so you really want to develop a deeper knowledge of what data engineers need to do to be successful. So now that you can not only understand their vocabulary, but you can help them depending on what your role is. In my case, I'm a solutions architect, so I would help data engineers on well-architected best practices in AWS, like security, cost optimization, operational excellence, reliability, performance efficiency, and sustainability. I always like to start off with the exam landing page. So we're gonna go from that zero to 100. Now the AWS Certified Data Engineer Associate is gonna validate your skills and knowledge in core data related AWS services. Gonna include things like the ability to ingest and transform data, orchestrate data pipelines, as I mentioned earlier, while applying programming concepts, design data models, managing data life cycles, and ensuring that data quality. You'll notice that the data engineer is an associate level certification. Let's pop up the certification hierarchy so you can see where this falls. The associate level certifications are role-based certifications that showcase your knowledge and skills on AWS and build credibility as an AWS cloud professional in that respective role, in this case, the data engineer. Now, AWS certification currently has four tiers to the hierarchy, starting off with foundation, which is no prior experience necessary, the associate, which is where the data engineer resides, professional, which covers your DevOps engineer pro and your solution architect pro, and then there's a specialty tier if you want to deep dive in one particular area. Specialty is where it's at. I would say the associate level certifications are intermediate, so if you have no AWS background, probably not the place where you would want to start. But hang around because we're going to get a lot deeper into this topic so you can figure out what's going to be necessary from you to prepare for this. Now, regarding the exam duration, Data Engineer Associate is 130 minutes. There's going to be 65 questions on this exam, and they're either going to be a combination of multiple choice or multiple response. Current pricing is 150 USD, and you can either take this at a testing center or choose to do online proctored exam. One of the tips I highly recommend for any AWS certification, step one is download the AWS certification exam guide ASAP. Just like you wouldn't go on a trip without a map, 
you shouldn't probably be preparing for an AWS certification without having reviewed that exam guide first. The exam guides go so much deeper to help prepare you for the certification exam. Now remember, the data engineer associate is gonna validate your ability to implement data pipelines, to monitor, troubleshoot, and optimize cost and performance issues in accordance with AWS best practices. The exam is gonna validate that you can do the following task. It's gonna focus on ingest and transforming data, orchestrating the data pipelines while applying programming concepts, choosing optimal data stores, design data models, catalog data schemas, and managing data life cycles. You're gonna to need to be able to operationalize, maintain, and monitor data pipelines, analyze data, and ensure data quality. And to top it off, you're gonna to need to be able to implement appropriate authentication, authorization, data encryption, privacy, and governance. And let's not forget logging. Now, who's the target candidate here? The suggestion is an equivalent of two to three years of experience in data engineering. The target candidate should understand the effects of volume, variety, and velocity on data ingestion. That's big data. The transformation, the modeling, the security, the governance, privacy, schema design, and optimal data store design. Outside of your data engineering experience, it's suggested that you have one to two years of hands-on AWS experience. It's also recommended that you have some baseline general IT knowledge. A lot of that centers around setting up extract, transform, and load ETL pipelines. And that's from the ingest to the destination. And be familiar with language agnostic programming concepts as required to set up that data pipeline. That has to do with any coding in support of the ability to extract, transform, and load data. Some familiarity with how to use Git commands for source control. Be familiar with the concept of a data lake and how to store data in that data lake. And have a general familiarity with network, storage, and compute, or as I would like to say, infrastructure. Now we talked about earlier how it was suggested that you need to have, in addition to your data engineering skills, one to two years of hands-on AWS experience. I wanna take some time now to highlight AWS knowledge you should be bringing into this exam. You're gonna to need to be familiar with AWS services in the context of how to deliver on the things that were mentioned in the introduction of the exam guide. You're gonna to need to be familiar with the AWS services that would encrypt, help you govern, protect, and log data associated with data pipelines. You'll also need to be able to compare various AWS services and make trade-off architectural decisions as it relates to understanding cost, performance, and functional differences between services, how to best structure a SQL query, and how to run that SQL query on an AWS service. You're gonna to need to understand how to analyze data, verify that data quality, and ensure the data consistency using the proper AWS service. Now, I know this is a lot of stuff, but hang in there with me, because I'm gonna share something with you that's gonna help you out big time. Now, we've talked about everything you're gonna be responsible for. Now, let me highlight some of the things that are out of scope of the exam, so this will take some pressure off of you. You're not gonna be expected to know how to perform any artificial intelligence or machine learning task. You don't need to demonstrate knowledge of programming language specific syntax, and you don't need to draw any business conclusions based on data. It's good to know this ahead of time so you can really dial in and get focused on the concepts that will be tested. Now here's something you might know if you've taken AWS certifications before, but if you haven't, you'll find this interesting. Now I said there were 65 questions on the exam, but the interesting fact is 15 questions are unscored and do not affect your score. But here's the thing, you never know which 15 they are that are not scored, so you have to make an attempt to answer all 65 questions. The exam scoring is based on a scaled score ranging from 100 to 1000. Now if you score 100, you pretty much <laughs> did horrible. Good news is if you get 720 out of 1000, that's considered a pass. Now the meat of this exam guide includes the domains and the task. I'm gonna cover all the domains that are on the exam and then I'm gonna put a link in the description below so you can go and look at the task that aligns with the domains because this is really what the heart of what you need to learn to be ready for this exam. Domain one is data ingestion and transformation worth 34% of the exam. That is a little more than one third of the exam. So what this weight means is 34% of the questions that you're gonna see on your exam are gonna be geared towards questions related to this domain one, data ingestion and transformation. 
Domain two is data store management, which is 26% of scored content. Domain three is data operations and support, worth 22% of scored content. And finally, domain four, data security and governance, worth 18% of scored content. Remember, every domain has several task statements, which details the knowledge and the skills that you need to have to be ready for this exam. Be sure to review the exam guide in its entirety. Now, if you hung around to the end of the video, you are about to be rewarded. As promised, I mentioned a free AWS exam prep resource at the beginning of the video. AWS has an exam prep course for the AWS Certified Data Engineer Associate on AWS Skill Builder. This is around six hours of free training that's gonna cover getting to know the exam, getting to know the exam style questions, learning about the exam topics, how to register for the exam, and detailed exam prep for every domain as outlined in the exam guide. You definitely wanna include this training resource as a part of your overall study plan. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check this video out before you go. And I'll see you in the next video.